Madam Speaker, I rise to introduce the Achievement Through Technology and Innovation Act of 2009. The 111th Congress begins in an era of continued shrinking school budgets, overcrowded schools, and overextended teachers. On an individual and on a national level, these factors have dire consequences. The individual consequence is that millions of American children may never realize their full potential or the promise of the American dream. The national consequence is that our country loses the benefits of our children's talents and their potential to become our nation's next generation of leaders in education, science, law, research, economics, engineering, and all the key disciplines that have helped to make our nation the greatest in the world. While there is no easy or single answer to the complex problems of education in our country, there are steps we can take now to put us on the path toward a quality education for all our children. One such step is to make technology literacy a priority and an integral part of every educational system in the country. From credible studies, we know technology can have a tremendous positive impact on student learning. This is especially evident in low-income and minority communities where students are vulnerable to falling behind in learning 21st century skills critical to individual success and to America's success in today's world economy. Whether preparing for college or going directly into the workforce, students are increasingly required to have the high-tech skills employers and the world market continue to demand. Therefore, it is a tragedy that in the United States today, we have high dropout rates that exceed 50 percent, and school districts that cannot keep up with the technology needs of their students. Passage of the Attain Act will help us to address these serious problems. For example, at the School for Global Studies in my district, I had the opportunity to see firsthand the benefits and the life-changing impact teaching with technology has on a child's life. While touring the school, I met some of the students who confided that if it were not for the meaningful technology program at Global Studies, they probably would have dropped out of school and ended up in some serious trouble. Instead, these students are excited about learning and excited about their future. The excitement and the hope students feel at Global Studies is what every child in our country deserves to feel about their education and the promise of their future. The Attain Act will help to make that possibility a reality for all our children. The Attain Act would amend the Enhancing Education Through Technology program in the No Child Left Behind Act. Currently, the No Child Left Behind Act allocates 50 percent of technology education funds to schools with disadvantaged students through formula grants. The Attain Act would increase that percentage to 60 percent. This funding would be used to purchase new technology and train teachers on how to effectively use these new tools. The remaining 40 percent of attained funds would be distributed through competitive grants that encourage schools to undertake comprehensive technology-based reform initiatives that have been proven to increase student achievement. Madam Speaker, we know that when teachers are properly trained and schools are properly equipped with technology, students are engaged, eager to learn, and ultimately better prepared to address and to lead our country to meet the challenges of the 21st century. We have already lost the untapped talents of thousands of our young people. Passage of the Attain Act will help to reverse the tr this tremendous loss of unrealized potential. I urge my colleagues to co-sponsor the Attain Act and help with its passage. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back. For what purpose does the gentleman from